Let's have a look at our first example now, dividing a quantity in a given ratio. And example one, divide $100 in the ratio two to three. So what this means is that we're gonna divide this $100 now into two groups. Obviously one group is gonna be slightly bigger than, than the other, okay? And it's gonna be um, in that order. Um, so group one um, is gonna be a little bit smaller than, than group two. If we divided $100 in the ratio one to one, what does that really mean? This really means $100 divided by two, which is gonna be $50 um, and $50, okay? So two groups, each group um, being $50 even. This time around though, we're gonna divide the $100 a little bit differently, where one group is in fact slightly bigger than another. So how do we do this? We know that there are, uh, we can use five counters, so we know that there are five parts. Okay, and I'm going to use these five parts, um, I'm going to use these counters to represent these five parts. So the two is represented by the two red counters, the three is represented by the three green counters. All up, these five parts all add up to $100. Okay, so the question is, what is the value of one of these parts? One of these counters, how much money does this counter represent? And the color of the counter doesn't matter, okay? it's each counter is considered equal to, to the other in terms of its value. So what is the value of one of these counters? Okay. So there's five counters. All up, it's $100. So what we're going to do is that we're going to work out the value of one counter first. Yeah. Is equal to all right, $100. And we're going to divide that by five, which gives us $20. Okay. So that's the value of one counter. So the reds, there's two of them, okay? So, okay, the value of the red group, okay? There are two, two counters in the red group. Each counter is worth $20, okay? And that gives us $40, all right? The green group, okay? We have three counters. Again, the counters are all worth the same, okay? They're all worth $20. And that gives us 60. So the ratio, okay, okay, is 40 and 60. $40 to $60. Okay, and that's how we divide a quantity in a given ratio. Of course, you don't have to use counters, but it is actually one way of visualizing what is going on. As you practice these, you'll get better at it. You're not gonna to have to use these counters or anything like that. Um, but initially, if, if, if ratios are something that you struggle with, it's always good to sort of think about an actual object or think of something that can represent that, that, that value, okay? So we'll go through and we'll do another example in another video. Um, and hopefully we'll, we'll build that understanding as we go along.